Hello everybody. This is Miss Hunkler and friends coming to you live from the Media Center with a book to start off your summer vacation because guess what kiddos? It's here. Okay, this summer we may be having some quiet vacations and not going too far away and most likely we'll all be having a summer with our family. So what I've chosen is a book about a wonderful vacation that you could have safe with your whole family and it's a suggestion you might want to give to your parents. So let's enjoy a story called Up North at the Cabin by Barsha Wilson Chaw. The paintings are by Steve Johnson. Okay. Look at that cabin. Doesn't that look like a nice place to be? Okay. On the way up north to the cabin, the sunshine sits in my lap all morning. I know the way by heart. Past the big valley, walleye statue on Lake Mill Locks, a few more miles to the live deer park, and all the trees are birch and pine, and the houses are made from logs that look like shiny pretzels. Up north at the cabin, I am a smart angler. Grandpa tries pink spinners, leeches, and dragonflies but I know what fish like. I bait my hook with peanut butter and worm sandwiches, then jig by line and weight. Those are some good words to look up about fishing. Grandma serves my sonnies with fried potatoes and corn on the cob. We eat at the long table on the screen porch sitting next to one another on the same side so we can all watch the loons dance in the sun. Up north at the cabin, I am a great gray dolphins. The lake is my ocean. Use your imagination. From the dock, I dive head first skimming over sand that swirls behind me, anchored to the bottom, upside down. I am an acrobat in a perfect handstand. Then rising in a sea of bubble balloons, I float on a carpet of waves. Up north in the cabin, I am a fearless voyager guiding our canoe through the wilderness. The river spills over rocks and whispers to me, Kawisha wee, Kawisha wee, and rushes on to anywhere. Like a house on stilts, a bull moose stands in the shallows. His chest heaves and rumbles, mighty as a diesel engine. He shakes his great head, rocking branches of bone as he bellows a warning. Ahead to the beaver dam, the voyager commands. On the portage trail, we sling the canoe over our heads, its backbone to the sky. We trudge along, an armored beetle homeward Up north in the cabin, I am a daredevil. Keep your knees bent, calls Uncle Roy. I clutch the tow rope, bobbing up and down in my yellow life vest. The motor sputters softly waiting, my legs stiffen in the skis. Hit it, I yell. The boat roars forward, the tow line snaps tight. I leap from the water, riding the waves. Lean back, they scream. How much? I think then smack the water like an angry northern pike. I fall three times, a flip, a somersault, the splits. Want to try again, they ask. Papa skims the silver water on only one ski. Yes, I shout. 
Up north at the cabin, I am always brave, even in the dark woods, when blood thumps through my head like old Ojibwe drums. It said they beat for two full moons when Chief Makwa's son rode to the sugar bush but never came home. I stand and listen and think I hear them still. Up north at the cabin, we are almost ready to go. I check under my bed, take down our clothesline, pack my snorkel and fins. Then one last thing, I look all around me, at the screen porch, at the creaky branch I hear at night, at the chipmunk hole under the stoop, at the tufted island in the bay, at the spot in the sky where the North Star shines. I shut my eyes tight and fix them in my mind. So when I'm far away from summer, when frosted windows cloud the sun, I close my eyes and once again, I am up north at the cabin. The end. I hope you all enjoyed the story. I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful summer. See you all next year. Bye, stay safe.